I'm aware my hair looks a uh, hot mess right now. <laughs> it's hair washing day, okay? Please bear with me. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Curiel. Today we are testing a new foundation, which I'm really excited about. When I saw this launch, it wasn't really talked about that much. I just saw the announcement through their social media on Instagram and it's a brand new foundation from Makeup Revolution. Obviously, Makeup Revolution releases a lot of stuff quickly <laughs> so it's not that surprising they've literally released a tinted moisturizer not that long ago as well <laughs> so they're constantly releasing stuff all of the time but once I saw this I was actually quite excited so the product in question is the new conceal and glow foundation if you guys have been on my channel for a while I absolutely love the conceal and define foundation also the conceal and hydrate is one of my favorites revolution just seems to know how to do foundations pretty well and at an affordable price this one is $9.99 which is the same price as those foundations as well. I picked this up from Makeup Revolution's website. They're also available in Superdrug. This one, however, is not in their typical shade range. With the Conceal and Hydrate and Conceal and Define, they have 55 shades, which is amazing. In this one, it only holds 20 shades, so I'm assuming they might extend that. This might just be so they can see what kind of interest they get with the product. But because of that, I couldn't get my typical shade, which is F.2, but I did get F.3, which is the shade down. Even though it is only 20 shades, it does appear to have a good range in it. So there is a lot of variety within those 20 shades, which is great. I am going to be doing a full day wear test and also some swatches to compare for you guys. But before we do that, let's get into the claims of this foundation. So they say this is a buildable coverage foundation, which has been pumped with brightening vitamin C plus light reflecting pearl particles for the ultimate skin loving radiant finish, which sounds amazing. They also say simply blend over the complexion and watch your skin appear effortlessly illuminated, brightened and gorgeously glowing all day long. It's a lot of claims, Big Revolution. It's a lot of claims. <laughs> it says you can build your coverage to suit your preference. And that's pretty much all they say. They really don't say anything about how long it's supposed to last, apart from all day long, but that's not a time frame. So yeah, they just say it's going to give you a glowy complexion and it's more of a radiant finish than like, you know, full on dewy. Hopefully I like this one and it'll become a favourite like their original foundation has. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Without further ado, let's get into some arm swatches and then get into the full day wear test. See you guys in a minute. I just realized I filmed my whole intro and I hadn't actually done anything with my eyebrows, so if they look like a hot mess, it's because they are. <laughs> we have the Conceal and Glow Foundation in the shade F.3, then the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation in the shade F.7, Conceal and Define in the same shade, CYO Life Proof in the shade 101, L'Oreal Freshwear in the shade 15 Porcelain, the Zoeva Authentic Foundation in the shade 10 and a Glow, MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NW10, then we've got the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 03 True Ivory, and then finally we've got the Fenty Matte Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 1110. I don't know why I did so many today, but <laughs> there you go. Um, there's quite a few foundation shade comparison there. As you can see, this one is very yellow. I do have one other shade actually that I may swatch because it's 0 0.2, which I was talking about in the video is the shade I kind of go to now. These are just a touch too dark as you can see on my arm. I'll just swatch that next to this one on the end here. So this one on the end here is the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation in the shade F.02. So it is slightly lighter, but to be honest, the 0 0.3 is not a bad shade match. It's just a little bit yellow. This one is just a little bit, just a touch more neutral. So it works a little bit better, but there you go. There's some shades for you. All right, let's sort this face out, please help me. <laughs> All right, so here are the swatches. I've already primed. I've used the e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer, which is my go-to. I'm gonna do my usual. On one side, I'm gonna use a brush, and on the other, I'm gonna use a sponge. See which one I prefer for application, and which gives me a better finish and coverage. But first, let's do a match test to see if it's gonna match my chest and everything. Uh, this has got one of those plastic wrappers. Mm. BRB gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Uh. Mm. Yes. 
this has a pump, which is great. I have a feeling this may be a little too yellow. I prefer neutral, slightly yellow toned, but if it is too yellow, it can show up. So let's see what this, what this looks like. Mm, that may be okay actually. Let me just do a little chest swatch. It's looking a little bit yellow, but I think blended out, it does blend into my skin quite well, so I think it'll be okay. I'm just gonna apply one more full pump to the back of my hand and let's get on to the face. I'm just gonna dot it around. If this is your first time here, my face is a lot darker than my chest, that's why it matched to my chest. So I may look a little crazy at first, but trust me, it'll all blend in. <laughs> So I'm just gonna use a brush on this side. I've been liking this brush recently for foundation. It's the Real Techniques 302 brush. I think it's supposed to be a powder brush, but because the bristles are quite dense, it works quite well to give a nice coverage and also a nice finish. Okay, but there's barely any coverage going on. Very light coverage, verging on medium, I guess. Maybe that's just because I went in with a very light layer. Let me just try it stippling, see if that works out better. Because I was kind of swiping just now. Yeah, there's uh, not a lot of coverage going on with this foundation. Let me just zoom you guys in so you can see. You can still see like all of my freckles going through. It has got a very nice finish though, as you guys can see to the skin. And it feels very lightweight. Just zoom you guys back out here. I think I'm going to go in with my brush to a little bit of the product and just kind of stipple it around and see if I can build it up with a second layer. Because I did not use that much product. This is the way I tend to prefer my application. I kind of build it up to the coverage that I want instead of going in with too much, you know. Okay, that has given me the tiniest small coverage, but you can still see my skin through it quite a lot, which I don't mind. Usually with Revolutions foundations, they're like pretty much full coverage, you know. Even their CC cream I was shocked with with the coverage, so. Whoa. Coverage on this is insane. Is this supposed to be a CC cream? What? CC stand for complete coverage? I'm confused. <laughs> so this is a little bit different, but I quite like it, I guess. Let me try it with the sponge side and see if it goes on any fuller coverage, if we get a different finish. I have pretty much gone through the two pumps that was on my hand. Let's just see, shall we? I barely look like I've got anything <laughs> on my skin right now. Does it look like there's a difference? I think it's just evened out my skin tone, but I think you guys can tell from a side-by-side -side comparison that the coverage is a lot different. And I have used a full two pumps, um, which is usually my kind of maximum. I'm gonna do one more pump on the back of my hand and I'm gonna do the same with the sponge, what I did with the brush. I'm just gonna put a little bit of product on and try and build it up. Okay, I'm getting a lot more coverage in doing this. I probably picked up a lot of product though, let's be honest. Um, it is building beautifully though. Like there's no issues with building up the coverage. It's layering over itself really well. I should stop trying to talk when I'm beating my face. <laughs> as far as the finish goes, it does have a really beautiful glow to it, but it doesn't feel like a dewy foundation in my opinion. Like it feels really lightweight. As I was kind of blending though, it was kind of leaving patch marks. So just use light motions when blending this one out. Because with my sponge, I was kind of getting stamp marks. But I really like the way it looks on the skin. It makes me look really healthy. It's not overly dewy. It does just kind of give you a nice glow. I've used, I'd say about two and a half pumps because I still have quite a bit of product left on my hand there. But I'm probably gonna bring it down my neck a little to match the color down here. As far as application goes, I feel like I preferred the sponge side, but after dipping my sponge into the product, it was just quicker, <laughs> it was just easier, and it gave more coverage off the get-go instead of putting it on my face and then blending out. I feel like the finish on the brush side, it was slightly different. It almost mattified it just a little bit. It didn't look matte, but it just didn't bring up the glow as much as the sponge side did. So I definitely prefer the sponge application. And again, it's lightweight. I can kind of feel it on my face, but almost in a refreshing way. <laughs> It's hard to describe, but it doesn't feel heavy. There's a little bit of transfer, but it's not so much removing the coverage. And it actually feels a lot more set down than what I thought it was, so that's good. Now 11.41, let's call the check-in time 11.40. I'm gonna go ahead, finish up my face, get dressed, start the day. <laughs> yes, I'm starting my day off at half past 11. What about it? <laughs> it's my day off. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, I still gotta 
get changed and also do my hair but I just thought I'd check in with you guys I've completely finished my makeup my skin is looking pretty good right now I love the finish I love the overall texture of my skin you can still kind of see my pores which is fine I don't mind that it's not a smoothing foundation but I quite like the fact you can still see my skin it's fine around this part of my face I don't really like the way it's sitting on my forehead right now it's just looking a little bit dry on my forehead. I think I just need to moisturise it a little bit more before putting this on. But apart from that, I really love the way my makeup turned out. I'm having kind of a good makeup day. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys my finished face. I'm gonna go about the rest of my day and I'll check in with you guys in a few more hours. Hey guys, it's been a few hours. It's now 10 to 6, so this has been on for like 7 hours, is it? I don't even know. <laughs> All I ended up doing with my hair, by the way, is just brushing it. So it still looks a bit of a mess, but just bear with me. <laughs> it's been on for quite a few hours now, so I think I should take a look at my skin. I still don't feel heavy. I have a feeling I'm probably oily, but I haven't really looked at my face since I applied it this morning. So fingers crossed I don't look like a hot mess. <laughs> but let's take a quick look. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually not as oily as I thought I was going to be. I actually don't mind this luminousness, Lum luminousness, luminosity, that's the one. <laughs> the oiliest place is kind of here. I did apply highlight here though, but it's definitely kind of been replaced by my natural oil. My cheeks and stuff aren't excessively oily, but they are definitely oily. The redness of my chin is starting to show through a little bit. That's probably because I was eating earlier and obviously my lipstick and everything like that has come off. And it has kind of collected around my nose a little where my oils are coming through. Apart from that, my actual skin and everything looks really nice. I don't look heavy. I just look oily, which is my skin type, so <laughs> can't help that. But apart from that, I actually quite like the way my makeup is looking, apart from this friggin' mascara that's transferred underneath my eyes. Does anybody have a trick for that? Because I powdered my under eye, it was set. But always, I've even tried putting powder on my lower lashes always transfers all the time. I think we're gonna wear this for a few more hours and then I'll check back in a little later. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, I forgot I was in my <laughs> Disney pajama dress. Um, this is awkward. <sighs> um, can you tell I like Disney? And I'm 100% professional. Do you, I, it's obvious, right? <laughs> I'm very tired. It's now just gone half past 10, so this has been on for uh, quite a few hours now. Is it like over 10 hours, something like that? <laughs> I wanna go to bed, uh, but just thought I'd do a quick check-in in my pajamas, cause I have a no shame, clearly. <laughs> So apart from being visibly very oily, um, it has kind of broken down and clearly I've like scratched my face a little because it's kind of moved some of the product and especially like in the center of my forehead here. It's just quite movable now. That feels gross. It's just my oils. Look at that. What, what did I just do? The good thing though is my bronzer and my blush and everything seems to still be there, which is great. But yeah, it's just my oils have kind of attacked this one and broken it down in kind of the usual areas like around my nose, forehead, my cheeks get particularly oily, like around here. But you know, it has been quite a while. What am I doing? It's like getting rid of everything. I've got to stop touching my face. I do actually quite like this one. It's not blown me away, but I did like the finish of it and I like the way it kind of wore throughout the day. I think a real test for me is it lasting like a few hours for me. Like this is, I mean, I've had this on for quite a while now, so I'd still consider this a good foundation. I really like the finish. It was really pretty. It did give luminosity to the skin, but it did set down pretty much fully by itself. And I also used cream products over the top of it and I had no issue with those. So yeah, I think I'm gonna like this one. I'm gonna keep using it, obviously. I don't think it's gonna replace my Conceal and Define foundation, which is the initial one they launched, just because that's like a go-to for me and it's more of a staple in my collection, honestly. I I just like using it. It's kind of one of those foundations where if I wonder what can I wear that's gonna last me a long time, give me like a decent semi-matte finish, I'd always go to Conceal and Define if I'm honest. It's just an easy foundation for me. But this is a definite contender if I want a glowy finish that's gonna last longer than say a dewy foundation. So yeah, I'm actually quite impressed. I'm not as oily as I have been in the past after this amount of time. The shade worked pretty well as well, so I'm quite happy with this one. So yeah, 
thumbs up from me. I will be using this again. Okay, so that is it for me. I'm gonna sign off. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new, please subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button. That'll just notify you when I upload new videos like this. Foundation reviews are some of my favorites to do, so definitely stay tuned if you're interested and you have combination or oily skin. I verge more on oily. Or if you just like foundation and you're just curious. But yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Don't forget to tune in for the next one. Till then. Bye guys.